Hello viewers, welcome back. So this is our second video as part of our series of video of our playlist Tally Release 6.0, which is the latest release. In this video, we will continue with the connected banking feature and we will see how are we going to connect your bank with the bank ledger in Tally. We will also see how you can reconnect in case if your connection is expired. And we will also learn how if you want to disconnect, if you don't want to use the online services, how do we disconnect? We will also learn how to get the balance from your bank account within Tally Prime. And also we will learn how to get the bank statement from within Tally and import it into Tally data. So let us go to Tally and explore these features related to connected banking. One important aspect I would want to highlight here is that since I do not have the account with Access Bank and Kotak Mahindra Bank for my company, I'm going to use a couple of demo data screenshot which is being presented by Tally just to give you all an experience of how you can get these activities done. Let us continue from here where we left in our previous video. So we will now learn how to connect our banks. Again, just to remind you, currently there are two banks where you can connect online. One is Access Bank and the other one is Kotak Mahindra Bank. Click on Bank Connections. This is your bank connection screen. Now for the first time to connect the bank, you have to come to the right side button bar and click on New Connections. So when you click on New Connections, Tally is going to display the list of supported bank. As I mentioned in my introduction, I do not have my current account in either Access Bank or Kotak Mahindra Bank. My current account is in ICICI Bank. I will use my live data to demonstrate how the reconciliation can be done by importing the bank statement into Tally. So I have just created these two dummy bank accounts just for you to understand the flow of connection. So select Access Bank. So this is going to be your connection ID. So once you click on connect, you will be taken to your Access Bank portal where through the corporate bank account, you will have to log in and then you have to enable your bank for connected services. So let me click on connect. So you will log in with your corporate ID and your password. Once you complete the authentication here, you can come back to Tally and you will notice here that now the button has become a refresh status. So once you click on refresh status, you will get a message that the connection with the bank is successful, your bank account and the connection ID. You will now get this screen here where it is going to tell you that the access bank has been connected. Once you connect your company for 24 hours, your bank will be connected. So any point in time within 24 hours, the connection will remain active. Now let us learn how you can reconnect your bank once your validity expires. So you will notice here, once the validity expires, the connection status you will see as expired. To reconnect, now on the right hand side, you have this button, which is manage connection. Click on manage connection and again, click on F6 reconnect bank. So when you click on F6 reconnect bank, you're going to get this dialog box where it says reconnect to the bank. Click here again, you will be taken to the bank portal where you log in and then you authenticate. Now click on refresh and you will get a message saying that the connection with the bank is successful. The connection status will display as connected. Sometimes if there is a delay due to internet or you're not able to establish connection with your bank, then the connection status will be shown as in progress. Supposing, let us say you want to disconnect your bank from the connected services. So how do we do that? Again, come here, click on manage connections 
and click on the blue arrow here, you will get this option disconnect. So click on disconnect. So you will get this disconnection dialog box and press D or click on disconnect to disconnect your connection with your bank. You will get a dialog box whether you want to disconnect. When you click on yes, again you will get an OTP which you have to capture the OTP here and then the bank will get disconnected. And once you come to your bank connection report, you will see the connection status as disconnected. Once you're disconnected, to connect again, you have to establish the new connection activity, what we saw earlier. Once you are connected, now you can get the balance instantaneously from within tally. You can also get bank statement from within tally and you can perform other connected banking activities also. So let us see now how are we going to get bank balance. Click on exchange and click on get balance. We will now get the list of all the connected bank, both the connected banks. Now you can get the balance either for each bank or you can select both bank and then you can click on get balance. Now tally will fetch the balance from your bank portal and it will be displayed here. Now if you want to get the bank statement in tally prime, again click on exchange, click on all banking option and you have this option get statement. Click on get statement. So you can see your bank listed now. Again you can select a particular bank to get statement or you can select both the bank. Click on set statement period. Once you click on state set statement period, you can specify the from and to date of your statement. Once the status is initiated, we can view the status or the request on the screen here. And you will notice here it says ready to import. Select the statement you want to import and then click on get statement or press yes. Once you import the statement, you will get the summary of the imported statement what you see on the screen here. I hope this video will give you a fair idea of how you can connect your bank to Tally Prime. Then in case if it is expired, we saw how you can reconnect and also disconnect. And we also saw how you can get the balance at any point in time from within Tally Prime and import your bank statement without basically logging into your banking portal, downloading the statement and importing into Tally. So thank you all once again for staying till the end. See you all in the next session. Thank you very much.